Yo guys, what is going on? Congested JPS back for another video. And today we're gonna to be reacting to an American's experience using the NHS. Now about a month and a half ago probably, I reacted to like a video or two about the NHS and how like healthcare in the UK works. However, my idea of healthcare in the UK is still very convoluted and the videos didn't do the best at explaining it. And a lot of people were like, you know, Con like they had they, they thought that in the comments as well like they were saying yo this video is outdated blah 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 and I was like okay so I think it would be a good idea for me to get a perspective from an American a fellow American because we know what our healthcare systems like here <laughs> horrible um, and how that works in the UK the NHS because a lot a lot of people in the UK a lot of my subscribers a lot of you guys have been saying you know the NHS is you guys really like the NHS. There's a lot of like positive feedback I keep hearing about from the H from the like people who are involved in the NHS. So here we are. Um, let's check this out. I'm curious to see. I think it's a, a lady. I saw her in the thumbnail. So I'm curious to see what her perspective is like and how her experience was. So let's get it. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and this video will be about my first time using the NHS. So the NHS, for those of you who don't know, stands for the National Health Service. It is a public health care system here in the UK. So um, I'm, I will be talking about my experience and um, in comparison to my experience using private health care in, the, in the U.S. So the first time I go. used NHS was actually a few years ago. This was before I moved to the UK. I was here visiting and I had gotten sick. Oh. So I didn't want to go to the hospital. So I decided the best thing to do was go to the local GP's office. So I called the office and I was able to get an appointment within a few days. Okay. I was told that I had to pay a fee because I wasn't a citizen, but I was fine with that because I needed to be seen. Mm -hmm. So I went to the GP's office and um, I had to fill out some paperwork um, my name, the address where I was staying, and any medications I was taking along with any medical issues. Yep. So after filling out this paperwork, I had to sit in the waiting area. There were other people waiting as well. And I noticed um, that there was a display screen. And when it was time for someone to be seen by the doctor, this um, display screen would have the person's um, name and room number. So I had never seen that. Before. We don't have that. I've um, never heard at of all that. In my experience with using healthcare in the yeah. U.S., usually what happens in the U U.S. They is come the out nurse and tell comes you. into the waiting area. Tell she you. yells your name, Kimberly, exactly. and then you know you walk back with her. KPN. And then she takes your <laughs> weight, heights, and blood pressure. After that, she walks yeah. you to one of the little private rooms where you're actually seen by the doctor, and then. You have to go in there and wait again for the doctor. So that is it one takes of the forever. That annoys me about um, using the healthcare in the U.S. is that you have to wait twice. So you wait in the waiting area, and then you wait in the the, the small private room yeah. to be seen by the doctor. So I remember one time I was waiting so long that I got bored and I got kind of curious about like some of the. Um, in the little rooms, they have like drawers with different medical. She started going through the stuff. Or not really equipment, but little medical tools. Yo. So um, I noticed in one of the drawers there was a um, like one of those reflex hammers. Oh, on your knee. To, like hit your knee and check your reflexes. So I she tried to, to do myself, it on herself. Hmm, I wonder if I can hit my knee and my own knee, and if it will will kick out. So I actually did that. <laughs> While I was waiting, I probably shouldn't have reached in a drawer and got the reflex hammer, but I did, did that and my knee kicked out. So I found out I had good reflexes and that I could actually use a hammer on my own knee. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, one Digress of the things that I did bit. like about using the NHS was that the doctor was already in the room. This was amazing to me because like I said, this never happens in the US and the doctor was already in there. It's almost like the room is his own uh, private um, office. He has a mm. computer in there, a desk in there. Um, in the US, that's usually separate. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, they do have the little private uh, rooms where you're seen by the doctor, but then usually the doctor has another like personal office down the hall somewhere else. Yeah. So it looks like in, in um, using NHS, they kind of combine the two. So like I said, the doctor's already in there, which was amazing. So we talked about 10 minutes about some of the symptoms I was experiencing and um, he was able to provide me with some uh, medication. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the other convenient thing was I like the fact that the pharmacy, or I think here they call it the chemist, um, it was chemist. already connected to the GP's office. So Never in the United to, States. Um, oh my. Get the prescription, walk it over to the pharmacist, and I was able to get the prescription filled um, within, I think it maybe took about 30 minutes or so. It really didn't take too long. And plus I was willing to wait for it because I needed to get well. So I got the prescription and I took, took the prescription for about two days and I felt so much better. Wow. So um, that, was my experience using NHS. Um, it was a positive experience and I was able to um, feel better for the remainder of my time or my visit in the UK. But this was my experience and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Dang. Hi everybody. That, man, that just sounds so convenient. Listen, everything she said, I can definitely concur like that is so true it takes so long like whenever i go to my physician general practitioner whatever you want to call it they make you wait in a room okay get checked by like some general nurse she does blah 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 all those general measurements then they make you wait in another room then you have to go wait in another okay for the doctor then they put you back in the waiting room to get your prescription which isn't there it's at like cvs or giant or some pharmacy which is somewhere else then you got to go there and well you have to wait for them to actually get the prescription then you have to go there and wait in line and then get the like it's don't even get me started and then let's not even talk about the price <laughs> let's not even talk about the price because i think we, we don't even need to talk about that like i reacted to that in my other video don't even get me started on that man oh my I've heard so many stories of people like they get hurt or something and they need a surgery or something. They literally won't go to the UK for it. That's how bad it is here. Like that's all I have to say. It's just, oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Um, anyways, guys, that was an American's experience. Hopefully someday I'll get to, you know, try out the NHS for myself. Who knows? Maybe I'll move to the UK. You never know. That would be so cool. I'm definitely going to visit. I said that last video like yesterday, but moving there, that would be nice. Um, I don't even, okay, I'm thinking way too far ahead. I need to, <laughs> I need to get through today. Anyways, guys, um, that was, that was that. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Check out my Patreon in the description if you want to support me even further. Um, if you want to just support me, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Yeah, recommend some more videos you guys would like me to react to down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.